Don't panic. All right, some people are getting very high bills, whether individuals or business. But don't panic. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick sends that message to Texans who were sent bills for millions or thousands of dollars following widespread power outages during the winter freeze in February. We're going to step up and help these ratepayers at some level, and uh, we're not going to let it wipe them out. Patrick held a briefing Monday to announce the Texas Senate has already made the first move to correct overcharges by the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, or ERCOT, during that week of severe winter weather. So what the Senate has done today is to tell the PUC, in case you were confused, it is not illegal. You shall order ERCOT to do this reassessment of prices to correct the errors and um, move forward. ERCOT, which oversees the Texas power grid, allowed the maximum price of $9,000 per megawatt hour to be charged for dates. Overbilling electricity providers an estimated $16 billion. Those charges, senators worry, will be passed down to customers. What happened that week, which we will never forget, was wrong. Uh, folks shivering in their homes, uh, the unspeakable stories we continue to hear. What would be even worse would be for us to allow, to allow a mistake to compound that by costing billions of dollars to ratepayers. That week was bad enough. Monday, in a 27 to 3 bipartisan vote, senators approved the bill in about four hours to send a clear message to the Public Utility Commission, which oversees ERCOT. The PUC chair told us um, that he had sort of flip-flopped on the issue. He agonized over it, over the decision of whether or not he should uh, request ERCOT to do this or order ERCOT to do this adjustment. And then he told us, well, I don't think I can do it because it's illegal. The lieutenant governor and senators say the move has been done before and is not illegal. Patrick now hopes Governor Greg Abbott will encourage the House to pass it so it can be quickly signed into law. I believe the, the governor wants to do it. And all of these issues are going to end up in court at some level anyway. But if we can at least correct this, um, it's a good start to do the right thing.